What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never, never left. left. Thank you guys for tuning in, pulling back up for another movie. Now, this one has been suggested for a very long time. Highly, highly requested, highly recommended. And uh, back by popular demand. Yes. We're about to be jumping into <laughs> Godfather 2. Godfather 2. Dun, you, dun, dun. Yeah, I know we couldn't stay away too long. <laughs> so we had to get back into it. Yeah. Um, like the last time we watched any type of like gangster movie, we watched Scarface. Uh, so jumping back into Godfather, I feel like that's like the essence of like the mafia movies when you're talking about um, like really like the origination as far as like the Italian mafia. Okay. The mob. I the have never Sicily, seen... Baby. Godfather 2, y'all know this already, so I'm excited to get into it, and we did multiple polls, and this mm -hmm. one won in every single poll that we needed to check this out, so I'm excited to jump in. Um, I just be following y'all's lead, okay? Y'all yeah. tell us what to do, we, we just do what y'all say. <laughs> and, and, we, and we didn't just watch Godfather Part 1. We took it on a whole nother level. We actually took a trip to Italy, and we had a chance to go through like the village to see um, like the church where Michael Corleone actually got uh, married. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. was actually really cool, y'all. So, uh, what was her name? Apollonia? Yeah. yeah. If you hadn't watched that vlog, make sure y'all go over to the to the vlog channel and check that out. The link is down in the description mm -hmm. as well. So, make sure y'all chime in. Go over there and subscribe to the channel, okay? Stop. Stop, okay? Get us to 10,000. I'm yeah. just saying. Today. And, and, <laughs> and, and we actually went on like a tour guide where they took us to see parts of Godfather 2 as well. Mm -hmm. So, I'm interested to see if I can like if I can even add, like, kind of, like, pinpoint some of these places that we went to the second time. Like, that second village. Yeah. In okay. uh, Savoca de Forza. Okay. Well, yeah, y'all. Make sure y'all tap in, like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. <clears throat> y'all can tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, behind-the-scenes footage, Patreon polls, and access to all of our TV series as well, all over on Patreon. And shoot, by the time y'all see this on YouTube, just know <laughs> it's been a little minute, okay? Yeah. Since it's been on Patreon, the whole movie is there. I'm just saying for everybody that's like, you know, y'all cut that movie too much. <laughs> the whole movie is not It's going to be on Patreon, people. And Absolutely. uncut on Patreon. Yeah, just yeah. know, okay? All right, so, <laughs> so for this one, you know we had to bring in the big boys. We got our snacks and all of that stuff ready. I got. We got our waters and everything, so. And I got, don't be trying to reach over here and take none either. I'm just saying. Well, oh, you, yeah. got, you got your little popcorn ball. I got my. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're sharing. That's my word. Oh, yeah. We're sharing everything. <clears throat> you ready? I am ready. Okay. Yes. Okay. Here we go. All right. Three and two and one and play. You know what that mean, right? Mm -mm. Somebody bowed down, kissing your hand. It's like now, now you, now you certified. What? Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's the end of that. Yeah. Oh, time to go. <laughs> I'm ready to. No. Oh, and his brother. I thought, I thought the little boy was walking with everybody else. You're not a scandal, you are all a lie. Ma il figlio mio è sicco. Sì. Ed usci usci una bat. E se quando cresce, cresce forte. Mm. Ossia non si scanta. Tu vicirino non ci può fare niente. Quando è grande, se ne viene per fare pennetta. That's why. Per il ciccio. Sparagnatemi sto figlio mio. Tengo solo a chisto. O signor Uzzo mio, vi giuro che non fa niente, o signoria. Mo sparagnassi. Spare him. He's only nine years old. Oh. Pizza, Tilly! 
Ci si vuole un mazzo! Fermi! Vattene, fitto! Figlio! Fitto, vattene! Oh, oh gosh! gosh. Don Ciccio verrà a sapere che qualche famiglia Eo. aveva ammucciato per Cirillo Pitandolini. Ma la mente finisce. Avete capito? Sì o no? So, yeah, yeah. Golly. Finisce a scrivere. Why would she take him there? La tattente. Vedi che tu carisci con Mario Mosca. Because she wanted to speak to him so, so that she could spare him. Because he already killed her husband. A Pitandolini. He wanted to wipe Vito out too, because he think that when he grow up, he gonna come for revenge too. Vito, watch the Biamo big on this gun there. Next, please. You gotta remember, Vito is... Vito was the father of Michael Corleone. And Michael Corleone was the was the dad that died. No. Who? Okay. In the first Godfather, the the older one, uh -huh. when the movie started out. Yeah. That's Vito. The son that survived. Mm hmm So now we watching him as a little boy. Right now, yeah. Oh, okay. Then who was the little boy that that they had on that was on the that was on the ground? That's his brother. That's Vito. That was Vito's brother. Oh, okay. So that would have left him then. So he's the last one, yeah. So now it's like taking place like before he was a big boy. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Showing more of the background, how they got to New York and everything. Okay. He basically had to get sent to America because if not, they would have killed him. Tell him he has small parts, foreign. The doctor has said that he has a paiolo. He can go for three months in quarantine on the island of Ellis. Yeah. They say you gotta be quarantined. Yeah. There he is. This is a wow. Isn't that crazy? Now he gotta be placed by himself even longer. Yeah. Vito Corleone and the Turkish signed by that young man who might think we should recognize that Mike, Pat, or Kay, stand up please. Stand he up, messed, let's talk to you. He messed up his whole name. <clears throat> I don't know if I will want to people to know that I'm... <laughs> Okay. All grown up now. Okay. Problem with the gaming commission. Now, my sources tell me that you plan to make a move against the Tropigella. Tell me that within a week, you're going to move Klingman out. That's quite an expansion. However, it will leave you with one little technical problem. <clears throat> technical, technical problem. Dressed up in those silk suits, trying to pass yourselves off as decent Americans. I'll do business with you, but the fact uh -oh. is, that I despise your masquerade, the dishonest way you pose yourself, yourself and your whole fucking face. That's the wrong thing. To the wrong person. Look at how he looking. Not even the fee for the gaming license, which I would appreciate if you would put up personally. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hey, I didn't know you were out here, honey. We have to. That conversation didn't go very well. Mm -mm. And he and he and he not paying twenty thousand dollars either. He said, "I'm not going to pay two hundred and fifty. And I'm not paying twenty thousand dollars either. Mm -mm. <laughs> My fee is zero. I see your brother Mike about. I want what's good. I mean, what do I got to do? Do I have to get a letter of introduction to get a sit down? Can't get in to see Mike. He's got me waiting in the lobby. He's got me waiting in the lobby. 
always makes money for his partners. One by one, our old friends are gone. That's Junior. Natural or not. Prison, Should deported. Wow. Hyman Roth is the only one left because tell? he always made money for his partner. That's crazy. <laughs> I can tell though. Professional musicians, wow. there is a one Italian. You know, know the only reason why I can hear, I can tell by his voice. Mm -hmm. Looks so young. Mm -hmm. I would not have known that not hearing his voice. I couldn't have told. <laughs> that was him. He looks different. Mm -hmm. Michael. You fly around the world with men who don't care for you and use you like a whore? You're not my father. And what do you come to me for? Because I need money. This is sister, I think. You don't listen to me. Marry this man. You disappoint me. Uh, this is not about you. But she wants the money. <laughs> she looking like Are you gonna give me the money. <laughs> you know, you know that's a uh, that's Rocky's wife. That's I almost wanted to say that, but I thought I was getting it confused. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian. Copy my Charlie. She's a. She's a. He stay messed up. She. <laughs> I don't know, but she she tipsy too. She definitely drunk. You can't take care of this. Never marry a wife. They treat their wives like shit. Need to say what? Oh, oh! She gotta go. She ain't gotta go home, but she gotta get the hell up out of here. <laughs> I want to earn my family without you on my back. And I want those Rosado brothers dead. No. Now, I have business that's important with Hyman Roth. I don't want it disturbed. And you give your loyalty to a Jew before your own blood. I see where, I see where this problem's going. He is on your stand, on your biliato. And I want everybody here to know, there's not going to be no trouble for me. Don't go to your Cheech, I'm on. Cheech, the door. Yeah. Uh-oh. He, he need to go and get out of here. I feel like he gonna, he gonna be a problem. Let him go back to New York. I've already made my plans. No man had too much wine. It's late. See, that's the problem with him having to deal with people that his father used to have to deal with. Especially when it comes to business and you want to do stuff differently. That was seven years ago. I know. I'm trying. Mm. She said legit. This the same party that's been going on all day? Yeah. When the party over? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Better end like how long does the party last? Is this a wedding? All nighter, baby. It's it's all day. <laughs> all day. That's all all day, all night. In your colada? I think I'll try one of those red-headed Yolandas. That you got. Con gusto, you got it. Johnny. No, he don't need no more women. <laughs> <laughs> At all. <laughs> Johnny Olin. Pleasure. Gentlemen, to a night in Havana. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Feliz Happy Año New Nuevo. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like this is the first time I'm seeing, like, Junior from The Sopranos look as young as he does. Like That's the youngest I've ever seen him. Be a fake. That ain't no fake. That's real. That's why they call him Superman. <laughs> About this place, he brought me here. I didn't believe him, but seeing is believing, huh? Nice. Look at him looking at his brother. Never come here, but old Johnny knows yeah. his place. To watch him, he's gonna break the track with Rick. <laughs> oh, 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 what's what's happening? What I know. Is it what I think is happening? What that mean? Oh, uh oh, bye bye. And it's like you can't. Hold on, is that a hanger? No, what? That's what it looks like. He killed on what a hanger. Ooh, I heard a couple. Heard a couple ver a vertebrae pop. I did too. He killed on what a hanger though. Damn. I think there was only one other person in there with Hyman. That was it. Oh, he lucky. He got lucky. Then why they got him with this creepy music? 
Because he pulled to take him out. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it, though. Because now he got to go to the hospital. Yeah. So I don't know. Look at Mr. Roth. I understood he was coming. What's the protocol? How long? Oh, I don't know. I think a half hour order. Uh-oh. Cool. Wait, wait. Here. <laughs> Just for a minute. That's all it takes is a minute. Uh oh. <laughs> you said, oh no. Oh no. Gonna be a oh yes. Oh! Oh shit. Damn, he got caught with the pillow in his hand. Don't make a big thing about it. I knew it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. Yeah. What did he do? Fredo told? No, he just told he just told Fredo he knows that it was him. That's why he said you broke my heart. He I, I That he was he in on trying was, to get him killed. I thought it was the other guy. Huh? I thought I thought that was the other guy. Hyman? Yeah, Hyman, but Fredo knew about it too. That's what I'm saying. Renuncio para evitar más derramamiento de sangre y salgo de la ciudad inmediatamente. Me despido a nombre de mi familia y en el mío propio, deseándoles a todos muy buena suerte. Oh, Lord. Uh oh. Salud. 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 See, Michael's still on the impression that everything will go. It's the only way out of here tonight. Roth is dead. Fredo. You're still my brother. Fredo. Fredo. Wow. I know he was going to run. He just looks scary. Talking about a riot. Yeah. Wow. I wonder what he gonna find about he gonna find out about Hyman. What? Come on, what? Kay had a miscarriage, he lost the baby. Oh shit. Was it a boy? Now can't you give me a straight answer anymore? Was it a boy? Uh oh, the Tony Montana coming out. I really don't. That's not the kind of news you want to come home to. No. I'm just saying. You see this flashback right here? Yeah. This is a fat, a, see, little Fredo. The baby is Fredo? Yes. Okay. So that's... That's Vito. Okay. Yeah. What were they doing? I don't know, he had pneumonia. Like burning it out, so to speak. Of course I understand. Like you say, si è così malandrino. Ma come fai tu a fare ci picchiare di meno? A voi oggi non mi interessa, ma solo ricordatevi che vi fici un piacere. Yeah, you go ahead. Huh. But I'm not going to go be the messenger. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him that. You go tell him. Uh, he said, Manucci want 200 each, he want 200 each. <laughs> he do everything for money. <laughs> You see his suit look better than everybody else's. You already know it. Se può chiudere, fammi lo sapere. Tu ti facesti a cannoscere. A diventi che festa. Well, hell, he took it. I'll be the same way. No, what if they got like wet hands? Don't like... squeeze my cheek like a little one year old. <laughs> Sweaty fingers. Hola.
Right now, with this being Fanucci's neighborhood, he can walk around and do whatever he want to do. Oh, you remember what was in there, right? No. Hold on. I gotta sit up for this. Wait, wait, wait. Uh oh. Uh oh. <coughs> he cut the lights down low like he Teddy Pendergrass or somebody. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, no. So dramatic. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> oh. Golly. Shit, I'm dirty. I guess you can say he made it in my offer that he can't refuse. Man. No, for real. See, that, I think that was an important part right there, too, showing you him sitting on the stoop. Yeah. So you can see Don Vito, you see his wife, and then you see the three kids, too. Yeah. I know Fredo, Michael, and then the other one. The other, the, You know, remember the one that, that died? Because he had got into it with, with his wife. Yeah. And he ended up leaving, trying to speed over there, and got to the tollway. Yeah. And got killed. I was just confused because I thought when they showed the name initially, it said Mike uh, Antonio Vito. Corleone, Corleone, but I guess they were showing him as a grown man, and then we went back and, we, and they showed yeah, uh, Mike, like the dad, Vito. Yeah, I remember showing Antonio, I think that was like the godson, yeah. not the godson, but. That's the little car. Yeah, he made it home. Now, and then he also got to deal with the fact that he lost a child while he was gone, too. Where is everybody? This is his house. I know. Why is it so bad? Oh, somebody's wife. They're there somewhere. You're an employee of the Jenko Olive Oil Company. That's right. But in actuality, you remember the Corleone Crime Organization. Uh, no, we call it the Corleone. We call it the family. What was your position? First, like everybody else, I, I was a soldier. What is that? A button, you know, son. Come on. No, I don't know. Tell me. Come on. The boss says push a button on a guy. I push a button. See, son? Mr. Question. You mean you kill people? A what? You kill people at the, uh, at the behest of your superiors. Superiors who gave the actual order. Right, yeah, buffer. Family had a lot of buffers. <laughs> Mr. Chichi, you may find this very amusing, but I promise you the members of this committee do not. Okay, so he ain't even dry snitching. He just telling all. He all, sure is. He just telling all together. <laughs> I wonder what he gonna do when he see his brother. So his brother hiding out in New York somewhere. Oh, 
Ma ci dici che vanni a parlare, chi è capisce la ragione e sta preso dove va? Inde si sbarazzati da besci che cos'ha? E allora? E picchio? E picchio? Non posso. E non posso essere siciliano? No, no, sono calabrese io. <ride> calabrese. Caggi sono sei mesi d'anticipo. Non ci regisi a niente da ieri, è una cristiana orgogliosa. Eh, e mi venisse a trovare in dannato di sei mesi. E ma c'è tu cane a prestare, eh? Eh? <ride> Tocca! Eh, tocca questo sì, che stanno a cavallo, me lo ordina a mia mano di comando. Oh, stai attenta come parlo con me, hai capito? Ma se noi con una cosa un tocco non sai quando ti manda a sbattere, ho dato! Oh! Non fai sto piacere, mica di chi so. Io ho uno scordo, e spiacere la mia città in tasto vicinanza che sono io io. Io ti tu sanno dire come io sa ciò fa voi. A sta benedire. A sta benedire. You better ask people in the neighborhood about me. Ah, See how he finna start it. Seem like he finna start making a name for himself in the neighborhood a little yeah. bit. Come on, nigga, be my man. Let me hold you. Come on, nigga, be my man. Marco, a signora Colombo, può testare, taga. Certo, che può testare. Grazie, grazie. Un vedo. Io vorrei portare i soldi che mi rasto. Vi torno al retro. Four, five, six, <laughs> tutto. Perché con Don Vito i soldi non servono. Now he said it a minute ago. So the people can't pay you a visit. <laughs> Can I sit there? Oh, oh. Appunto se suo devi dare da paura vita, non morta fa capo. The rent stays like a buffalo. Ah. Abbiamo qua fai parlamo, capia che sono amico, ma ora mi dovete scusare. Andai proprio a dire, eh? Of course you gotta go. Tu capisci che puoi sentire un amico vero con me, ma io sto volta proprio, ma io sto perdendo una proprio, appena mi chiamate, tu mi chiamate io arrivo qua, non ti dico, stavo che ma ora proprio non dai dire, è tardi. Ah 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 <laughs> Mind speaking up, please. New York City. Are you the son of Vito Corleone? Yes, I am. And where was he born? Corleone, Sicily. Did he at times use an alias known in certain circles as Godfather? Godfather is a term that... that these hearings on the mafia are in no way whatsoever a slur upon the great Italian people. I can state from my own knowledge and experience that Italian Americans are among the most loyal, most law-abiding, patriotic, hard-working American citizens in this land. American way of life, without a blemish on their name and background, I have appeared before this committee, giving it all the cooperation in my power. I consider it a great dishonor to me personally to have to deny that I am a criminal. I wish to have the following noted for the record. Corroborate the charges which were made against you today. Which time, Mr. Corleone, you may very well be subject to indictment for perjury. I remind you that you're still under. Adjourn. Damn. Some deal I made. Oh, you'll live like a king. You'll be a hero. You'll live better in here than most people on the outside. Some deal. Alive. Aunt Angeli is alive. Frankie went to make a deal with the Rosado brothers and they uh, tried to kill him. Thought you double crossed him. Our people with the New York detective said he was half dead, scared stiff, talking out loud that you turned on him. They already had him on possession, bookmaking, murder one. And all. Oh, see? The FBI has an airtight, it's on an army base, 24 hour guards. No way we can get to him. Damn Fredo. You sell the five counts of perjury. What about Fredo? What does he know? He says he doesn't know anything. I believe him. Ross, believe him. Played this one beautifully. I'm gonna talk to Fredo. You need to talk to Fredo. If he can get in touch with him. Is that him? Oh. No, it's not him. Fredo, Fredo, go. And he real going right now. I haven't got a lot to say, Mike. What is him right there? We have time. I was oh. pr pretty much in the dark. I didn't know all that much. What about now? Is there anything you can help me out with? Anything you can tell me now? 
Dig up intentionally, that's all I can tell you. <clears throat> he said they got who? Pentangeli. I didn't know it was going to be a hit, Mike. I swear to God, I didn't know it was going to be a hit. Johnny Ola bumped into me in Beverly Hills. I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. It ain't the way I wanted it. I can handle things. I'm smart. Not like everybody says. Uh, you like, know. dumb. I'm smart, and I want respect. You kill me. Sound kind of stupid. Yeah, he jealous. Is there anything you can tell me about this investigation? Anything more? <laughs> Come on, we need to know. Because nobody cares about your little whole spill about being smart. The Senate lawyer, Chris, she belongs to Roth. You know, you're nothing to me now. You understand? And that's all. That's cold. About that. He better be glad that's all he did. He said, you dead to me. I don't want anything to happen to him while my mother's alive. Keyword, while my mama's alive. Damn. Just think about having to do your own brother like that. Because he didn't care if you live or die. Right. Look. Why are you looking at him? Mr. May will come to order. Because I think that's him. That's Pentagli, I believe. Oh. Patan Patanjali. Empire that controls all of the gambling and perhaps another. Damn. This witness has had no buck himself on Michael Corleone. He can corroborate our charges on enough count for this committee to recommend... A he look worried. Senator, thank you, Jim. Mr. Pentangeli. <laughs> Were you a member of the Corleone family? Did you serve under Capo Regime Peter Clemenza, under Vito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? Previously made to be insane. I ask you again, sir. Here and now, under oath, were you at any time a member of a crime organization headed by Michael Corleone? I don't know nothing about that. Because <laughs> that's what they wanted. But, but it was all lies. Uh, everything. I kept saying, uh, uh, Michael Corleone did this and uh, Michael Corleone did that. So I said, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> this committee owes an apology. Apology, Senator. They pissed off because it didn't go the way that they wanted it to go. They thought he was going to do all this testifying. Uh, and tell on, and tell everything. Yeah. The children are outside. We're going. Where are you going? We're all going to leave tomorrow. Uh, Rocco. I'll be in my room, Mike. His brother came and helped him. I didn't even know he had a brother. And where is he now? He's on a plane back to Sicily. All he had to do was show his face. It was between the brothers, King. I had nothing to do with it. At this moment, I feel no love for you at all. I never thought that would ever happen. Wow. But it has. To let you go. Do you expect me to let you take my children from me? Don't you know that that's an impossibility, that that could never happen? That I'd use all my power to keep something like that from happening? Don't you know that? That sounds like a threat. It's a promise. <laughs> sounds like a promise to me. All my power. Now, in time, you'll feel differently. You'll be glad I stopped you now. I know that. Mm -hmm. I know what that meant to you. I'll make it up to you, Kay. I swear I'll make it up to you. I'll, I'm going to change. I'll change. I've learned that I have the strength to change. Oh. Oh, Michael. Michael, you are blind. It wasn't a miscarriage. It was an abortion. Oh. Oh. Abortion, Michael. Just like our marriage is an abortion. Something that's unholy and evil. I didn't want your son, Michael. I wouldn't bring another one of your sons into this world. It was an abortion, Michael. It was a son, a son, and I had it killed because this must all end. I know now that it's over. I knew it then. Uh-oh, uh-oh. No way, Michael. No way you could ever forgive. Not with this Sicilian thing going on for 2,000 years. Uh -oh. Oh. 
Uh-oh, Tony Montana that came out. You won't take my children. <laughs> you won't take my children! <laughs> You're my children. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. She said, are you blind? Wow. So she said, are you blind? It wasn't a miscarriage? And it was another boy. Slap in the face and another slapping and a punch in the gut. Like, as, back to As soon back. as I saw his mouth start trembling, I was like, Tony Montana about to come out. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, that's crazy. I would suspect it's probably a big deal that they have boys. You know, you know, the boys are always going to be the head of the family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they drive on the right side? I don't remember them driving on the right side. I thought they were on the left side. I thought so too. Maybe this was a little bit before that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, they do. Yeah, they, they drive on the right side. Oh, you remember him? That's crazy, because our show was like, he should know who he is when he say his name. Golly, completely knifed him. Trying to tell you, Don Vito, he not sparing nobody. Point blank, period. Michael, say goodbye. <laughs> now you see why Don Cheech was so, why well, it was so imperative to, for him to want to kill all of them. Yeah. Michael, I hated you for so many years. I think that I did things to myself to hurt myself so that you'd know. Is that his mom? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what, that's what I'm just making sure. Oh, yeah, because remember he said don't let nothing happen to him as long as my mom is yeah, still alive? exactly. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at how he's looking at him. Time for you to go. Uh-oh. You think he might be forgiving him? I don't know. I can't read his face. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> because he always got that that straight poker face. Yeah. I mean, I, I I would think the hug, unless he's just doing it for the family in front of everybody. Stop. Che? Non è di perché. So this guy is like the attorney and the lookout, huh? Yeah, okay. I think so. He offered a gift of a million dollars if they let him live there. They turned him down. He's mm. gonna try Panama. Panama won't take him. Not for a million, not for 10 million. His medical condition is reported as terminal. He's only gonna live another six months anyway. You're talking about Hyman. Yeah. Nothing's impossible. It would be like trying to kill the president. There's no way we can get to it. Tom, you know you surprised me. If anything in this life is certain, if history's taught us anything, it says you can kill anyone. That's cold. Uh, true that. Not impossible. It's possible. Who eats an orange like that? Why did like you that? ask me if something was wrong when I came in? Michael Corleone. Just consider this, Michael. That's all. Just consider it. Now, Roth and the Rosados are on the run. Are they worth it? I know they're strong. 
I mean, you've won. Do you want to wipe everybody out? I don't feel I have to wipe everybody out. Just my enemies. That's all. <laughs> That's, That's it. That's it. <laughs> Just them. And I was, I was the only one that caught a fish. Nobody else could catch one except me. You know how I did it? Every time I put the line in the water, I said a Hail Mary. And every time I said a Hail Mary, I caught a fish. You believe that? It's true. That's the secret. You want to try it when we go out in the lake? Okay. Okay. What else you got? Then my brother go back. Yeah. Don't worry. He's ten times tougher than me, but he's old fashioned. He didn't even want to go out to dinner. He just wanted to go straight home. That's my brother. And this is nothing could get him, get him away from that two mule. He could have been big here. He could have had his own family. And the families, the families were taken care of, Tom. It was a good break. Nice deal. Yeah. They, uh, they went home and sat in a hot bath, opened up their veins. Took him off the boat. He took him off the boat. I think he was gonna try to do something else to Anthony. Maybe, I, maybe I'm just looking too far into it, but I don't know. Something, just something, something was weird about that. I know it did. It did kind of. I felt that too. Because I wish to live there as a chill twilight of my life. Hey, Frankie, come on out. Let's play some heart. Frankie. Oh, Frank. Frankie, go. Oh, you're worth over $300 million, Mr. Rod. I'm a retired investor living on a pension. <laughs> I came home to vote in the presidential elect because they wouldn't give me an absent. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, they got him, too. Jesus Christ. Well, he said it, right? Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Oh, wow. Man. We're asking people off the list. Left and right, right and left. Come on, say hello to Carl. It's good looking, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> oh, that droopy thing over there, that's my brother Mike. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Talk to each other. Sit down. Who's that guy? Hey, Mr. Einstein. Sure. Right. James Kahn. Yeah, <laughs> his face. They're saps because they risk their lives for strangers. Oh, that's pop talking. You're goddamn right, that's pop talking. They risk, they risk their lives for their country. Country ain't your blood, you remember that. I don't feel that way. Well, if you don't feel like that, why don't you just quit college and go to, go to join the army? I did. <laughs> Father's heart on his birthday. That's well, Mike. Congratulations. Uh, that's right. Encourage. Go on, give me a drink. Go on. Dad, your father has plans for you. Many times, he and I have talked about your future. Talk to my father about my future. My future. Mikey has high hopes for you. I have my own plans for my future. Once you go to college, you get stupid. You're really stupid. He's here. Come on. Gonna be gone. I thought he was gonna be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I thought he was gonna be gone. I thought I thought he was gonna be way gone by the time like the end of the movie came after he figured out that it was him that had like helped orchestrate that and, yeah. and make he made it, it for, all he happen. Made, he made it for a little while. What? Fredo. Yeah. <clears throat> but how did he figure out that it was him though? Like what made him know that it was him? Because I thought he said it was the other guy until until Pan Pantalonio. Yeah. Pantalonio. Until it was was it because I'm just thinking, was it because maybe that that he ended up telling him, like when he told him, he was like, Let I have to tell you something and by the time he was like by you know, sitting there telling him by the time that he was gonna get back to the hotel when he left mm -hmm. that he would be gone, like he would be assassinated. So did he tell him that to see if his brother was gonna go back and tell? And that's how he figured out that that his brother was a part of it. Because how did he figure out that his brother was a part of that? That's a good question. I, I, that's a good question. That's something that I don't even know either. As far as like, how did Fredo know that there was already somebody was already gonna put a hit on Michael? One, we we found out later that you know that obviously Michael he he's younger. Than Fredo, so Fredo, I always felt like he probably would be the one that would be eventually would be, you know, Don. Right. Would, would, would have that Don title and run the family. Yeah. So we, we found out that all along that he was already kind of envious of Michael because Don Vito probably saw in Fredo that Fredo probably wasn't going to be fit to run the family, probably because he didn't have, he wasn't going to be strong enough or right. whatever he thought. He, he Because, you know, even in Godfather 1, he gave... You know, he, he handed everything over to Michael. Right, yeah. Towards the end. and But wasn't this because of, like, Fredo didn't have, like, he just... I don't know, because it seemed like I remember, if I remember from the from the first one, it almost seemed like he just had, like, a lot more confidence in Michael, like, start, like, to begin with. Yeah, because you, you remember Mike, when Michael came home from the army, mm -hmm. when he came home from the war, he was, he, you know, he you know he initially came home, I think he came home... When they had the wedding and everything, right? And and they all took the family picture and everything. Oh, and, that's and that's when he was telling him that he, he <clears> thought that <throat> this was gonna be passed down to him and this would all be his because he didn't want to do it at first. I think so. Yeah, wasn't it like he didn't he didn't really <laughs> want to do that? That's not what he was interested in. It wasn't his thing. But then it was like he kind of just started coming around to the idea and, like and he once just got, he was he just, at the yeah, hospital and, he and all just that got, stuff. Yeah, he just got pulled into it. Yeah. Because everything that happened with like his father and then finding out about the police because remember Michael had to leave for a while. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Or Sonny, yeah, they had to... Couple, they had to leave for a little while because everything got hot because of the uh, mm -hmm. police captain that they took out. Right. You know? And, and so, I just like... I like Godfather 2 for the simple fact that you got more of like the backstory on Vito. Yeah. The father to kind of like get more of, because it gives you a better understanding of like the family, where they come from. We already knew that they come from Italy. They come from Sicily. But to be, but to be able to kind of see, like it goes further back than that. Like, you know, as far as Antonio and Delini, And then you kind of see where they, where they actually got their name from because they lived in. The, the city. The, yeah, in the city of yeah. Corleone. Yeah. Okay. And I was confused at the beginning because I thought when they showed Michael, they showed Michael Vito. Corleone, and then they said Antonio, Antonio Andolini. Right. And that, that's when I think I got confused. I'm like, wait, so who's Antonio? Who's Michael? That's why I was confused. And then then I figured out that they were telling the story about about the father, exactly. the godfather. So, so An Antonio Andolini was Vito's father, which is Michael Corleone and, and Fredo's grandfather. Okay. He just has a different name, Antonio Andolini. So Antonio was gave birth to Vito. Right. Which was Don Vito Corleone. Right. And and, and that's why we saw that and that's who Robert De Niro played. Okay, right. Vito. Okay, and then Fredo and uh Michael were the sons. Of Vito. Okay. Yeah. And then And and, and then Connie too and Sonny. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because we just saw right there where Sonny, Sonny introduced Connie to her husband, the one that was uh, cheating on her and fighting her. Right. The one that he was initially went after to take him out, and he ended up getting killed. I remember now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to get the names <laughs> together. <laughs> That's what was confusing me. That's why. Okay. So we were looking at the the God, the actual grandfather, the father, and the and the sons and, and the daughter. And this one right here. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's why I feel like. That's why I feel like. I, I feel like that's what was missing in the first Godfather because we just picked up with 
you know, with Don Vito yeah. at a, at a, at an older age. Right. And As, so and so we didn't really like know a lot about like the backstory why Don Vito was in the position that he was in mm-hmm. and then regarding like his sons and how they all kind of like were in line to like be be head of the family too as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was crazy seeing Robert De Niro in this movie though. Like when I saw him yeah. like why does he look like a super incredibly young yeah. <laughs> Robert De Niro like I've never seen him this young before, so that was, this that was been, surprising. This, yeah, this this might have been the youngest that we've seen Robert De Niro in the movie. Yeah, like and with that much hair too, that was probably I think that was his real hair. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be his real absolutely. hair. Like, how old does this movie go back to? Like, because I, I don't know when this one was. This was nineteen seventy. Got to be nineteen seventy something too, because wow. we also saw uh, Talia Shire. Nineteen seventy four. Yeah, and so this was a few years after oh, Rocky my. too, because. Uh, you know, Adrian, Adrian, she played Connie in this, too. Yeah. <laughs> and, she, and, she, and she looks just as young as she did yeah, in Rocky. Yeah, she did. And that's crazy you said it, because when I looked at her, I'm like, I don't think that was her in the first one. I'm thinking, I'm like, whose wife? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> was she? It was Rocky. I was thinking it, but I wasn't going to say it, because I was like. And, I, and, and, and even with this one, y'all, like, this one kind of gave, like, that connection with you know when we watched Casino, yeah, how they were saying oh, how, like yeah. Casino was ran by the mob, mm-hmm. like yeah. this, like now you got more of like the story of how like how how they got the license to do it and like you know with them running like certain hotels and yeah, you know with them living in Nevada, Lake Tahoe, mm-hmm. so they pretty they pretty much built Las Vegas, yeah. and everything like that too. So you also got like that backstory too to see like well why are they so affluent, why they have so much. You know, why Why are they so rich? It's because of, yeah. you know, the casinos and all that stuff that was going up in the 70s. How they pretty much had their hand in that whole pot. Right, right. Yeah, after watching the movie, I think I figured, I figured that part out. But when he started talking about it, that's why I was like, oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so he pretty much made his fortune off of, like, the olive oil. Like, selling olive oil yeah. and the molasses, running it up to Canada. And that's how they made a lot of money. Yeah, basically. You know? Okay, I thought he was making it up for a second, but then when he started saying it again, I was like, "Okay, maybe they were, they were they really were doing." Yeah, it. Yeah, and for him to go and hit Don Chi Chi, yeah, what, Don Cheech, yeah. Don Cheech, that's how you say it, Chi Chi, Don Cheech. I was like, Chi Chi, that lets you know right there, like you know, like you don't you don't never like leave anything <laughs> any stone unturned. It don't matter if it's like ten years, twenty, thirty, forty years. Right. That was something that happened to like his his father. Mm-hmm. And he went back and got him for it. Because that's the reason why Vito got sent to America was because Don Cheech said, Oh, yeah. We're we going to kill Antonio Andalini. We're going to kill his son mm-hmm. and uh, all his sons. And they and they started to. That's that's because that's when the car had blew up too, wasn't it? No, 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 no. In, in this movie, that, that, that's where at okay. the very beginning when they were having the funeral. Yeah. And, and his mom... Yeah. And, and oh, like it was like it was picking up. Yeah. Because that's he died at the end of the movie the last time, wasn't it? No, I'm talking about Antonio Andalini. At the very beginning of, the, of this one, they were showing Vito's father already had was killed from by Don Cheech, and they was having the funeral. Yeah. And then you and then you heard the gunshot go off, and his son. Oh. That okay. was Vito's brother. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so that's why, um, and that's that's why Vito's mom went to Don Cheech. To say, like, spare my last son. This is the only, this, this is the youngest son I got. Like, spare him. Yeah. Don't don't kill him, too. And she was and like. And he killed her, their mom. Mm-hmm. And he ran off. Yeah. So, and, really, and, he and, did. He went back for his mama. And then they snuck him to America. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, I, I, I feel like this one, for me, was a lot better than Godfather 1. Just because you got a lot of the backstory. I, I feel like there was more action in Godfather 1. Mm-hmm. As far as, like, people getting hit. But this one right here, I, th- I think, was the more the most informative one out of the two that I've watched. Yeah, Godfather one and got and, and part two because I feel like part two filled in like all the gaps that was left in or Godfather one. one. Yeah, so I would agree. this was a good watch too. Yeah, it really, was. really good movie. It was, y'all. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad now. I do have a, a better understanding. Yeah, of Godfather. That was my thing at the end <laughs> of Godfather one was just trying to understand it a lot more because it was almost like part of Godfather 1 I didn't even completely all the way understand get it all yeah you know gotcha. as far as like Vito so this one right here just gave a lot more context as far as like their family per se and like how they how they got to where they are yeah you know got you 
Okay, y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below. If y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all in the next video. Yo. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Peace and blessings, y'all. Y'all take it easy.